Hello everyone, my name is Engin Tujumet and today I'm going to introduce you the Hawker P1127, the predecessor of the Harrier family jump jets. The Harrier jump jet, often referred to as just Harrier or the jump jet, is a military jet aircraft capable of vertical or short takeoff and landing via thrust vectoring. The development of the Harrier started in the late 1950s and culminated in the Hawker P-1127. The P-1127 was a light prototype with a simple wing design to test the engine concept and stability. The engine, the Rolls-Royce Pegasus, is a unique concept with its four movable exhausts and many other small exhausts called jet control valves in several places in the fuselage for maneuverability. Attitude control in the hover was by a jet reaction control system. With the nozzles deflected, high pressure air was continually bled from the engine at the rate of 12 pounds per second to supply the roll and the pitch nozzles at the nose, tail and the wingtips. Pitch control was obtained by increasing the aperture of one of the pitch valves and reducing the size of the other, hence the total lift force on the aircraft remaining constant. The Pegasus Vector Thrust Turbofan is a two-shaft design featuring three low-pressure and eight high-pressure compressor stages driven by two low-pressure and two high-pressure turbine stages respectively. The combustor is annular and features vaporizers. The low-pressure fan had two stages and was fitted with inlet guide vanes. It supplied the front nose left flux and the eight-stage high-pressure compressor. A most important feature was that the high pressure and low pressure components of the engine control rotated to remove gyroscopic couples. The main characteristics were a large bifurcated intake and four swiveling exhaust nozzles interconnected together which enabled the thrust vector to be moved as required from aft to about 18 degrees forward of the vertical. A motor under the engine, driven by compressed air from the final high pressure stage, was used to rotate the four exhaust nozzles through a simple and reliable mechanical system of shaft and chain drives. The Harrier's most famous feature is its vertical takeoff and landing capability. Although the Harrier has one jet engine, it has four nozzles that direct the jet engine thrust downwards for vertical lift. Once airborne, the nozzles are slowly revolved so that the plane moves forward. And now let's go to the science regime to see the actual P1127. Six prototypes were built in total, one of which was lost at an air display, and this one you see here is one of those five survivors. So, this is the front part of our plane, and this is where the air intake is. It is necessary to ensure that the wing-mounted stabilizer struts contact the runway simultaneously. Bounce or tilt to one side can result if this is not achieved. That's pretty much it. 